yourselves and where you're from, and then I'll ask you some questions. I'm out of guy from Edinburgh. Hello, I'm Angus from Edinburgh. I'm Amish, I'm from Paisley. <laughs> Welcome to the United States, my friends. Thank you. Hello. I've got a few questions, starting over there with contestant Blue Mask, right? <laughs> In America, we sing the wheels on the bus go round and round. What goes round and round in Scotland? Off the squares on the bus. Because they don't have wheels, they squares. I swap the left the squares on the bus go pop, pop, pop. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, well, it's the wheel in Scotland yet. Right. Ah, contestant number pink mask. Yeah, I, I can, uh, can you order an Irish cream latte at Starbucks in Scotland? If not, what could you order? No, you can order an Irish cream, whatever you would call it, in Starbucks in Scotland. Because we don't really like the Irish, you know. Mm. But you can uh, order a McHaggis coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it's really tasty. Awesome. Contestant number three. In America, we decorate Christmas trees in our own interesting ways. How or with what did they decorate trees in Scotland? All we do is put swords on our trees. <laughs> <laughs> We're real manly in Scotland. The only problem is it cuts the tree down. <laughs> that is an issue. Okay, contestant number blue mask. In America, we have McGruff the crime dog who encourages kids to take a bite out of crime. What kind of characters do they have in Scotland and what do they encourage the children to do? Well, you've got Mick Rubbles, the mindless wombat. <laughs> and they tell me to not go crazy for... Just not go crazy! Not huh? go crazy! <laughs> I don't know. Put you on a data side or something. <laughs> Alright, big guy. Uh, now that you've been in America for a while, what is the saying that you have heard that you don't like and why? I don't like that saying called how the y'all the y'all. <laughs> I just don't get it. What, what's how they mean? I don't know. <laughs> All right, that's great. <laughs> that's that's uh, exceptionally funny. Contestant uh, three, who is Nessie, and where would she live if she had to live in the United States? Nessie, she's a huge monster. That's right. If she lived in the United States, my first thought would be that their pond. <laughs> but but there, are we, there are we children here this week, so we'll put it in <laughs> the little pool out of the pool. Yeah. <laughs> Let me clarify, by the way, the Loch Ness Monster really is not here. Just as, you know, point of information. A contestant number blue guy. America has many unique holidays, like 4th of July, Labor Day, Memorial Day. What unique Scottish holidays are there in your homeland, and how do you celebrate them? Well, there's Dirty Mud Day. <laughs> I don't want to have a mud parade. I run around throwing mud at each other's faces. I got really funny last year. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's also Bring Your Whistle to Work Day. There's a whistle on everybody wants their whistle. Ah, contestant two, General Mills is making a new cereal based on Scottish culture. What's in it? Sorry, can you repeat the question, please? Yeah, no problem. General Mills is making a new cereal, breakfast cereal, based on the Scottish culture. What is in this cereal? That's called the William Wallace McGranios. <laughs> Did you say McGranios? The William Wallace McGranios, and they're tasty good. <laughs> Contestant number white mask. Is there a Scottish song that would be synonymous with America's "Take Me Out to the Ball Game"? And how does it go? And would you sing it? It goes a little something like this. <laughs> Let's go. Way to go, Scott. <laughs> never mind. What did he say? I don't know. That one, standing in the crowd. The we don't really do words. Nobody can understand us anyway. Contestant <laughs> 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 Everyone knows about.
Swiss army knives and all the gadgets that they put on them. Is there a Scottish army knife and what is on it? <laughs> yeah, there is a Scottish army knife. What, what do you think? What's on it? Like what well, is it's got a claymore, it's got a beaver. And what, what's a claymore? <laughs> what's a claymore? Right. Claymore is a, a sword, of course, and three men high. <laughs> That's on your... <laughs> <laughs> Is there more on there? Oh, yes, of course, there's a blender. There's a flushing. There's a flushing in Scotland. There's also a carrot. For in case you run into a rabbit. That's about it. That's great. Blender, a claymore, and a rabbit, and a carrot. Alright, contestant number two. If Scottish men are so tough, then why do they play soccer and call it football when it's not near as uh, molly and tough? Is real American football. Oh! You're crazy for a person. <laughs> Obviously, you've never played the game back in Scotland because the way we play, it makes your football look like a bunch of wussy games. <laughs> we are tough, man. That's that. Nice. Sam Wessels. I don't bring your Wessels to work! <laughs> Contestant number three, final question. MacGyver, an American hero, could use a knife, a piece of string, and duct tape to evade an entire army. What could a Scot what could a Scotsman do with this stuff? That's easy. He could make a huge gun against you in skyscraper. Really? Right. All you need is a little mud too on the mud holiday. You just pile it all up. Ladies and gentlemen, give a hand to our friends in the Scotsman. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to find out who's going to write my vote of applause. So if you think the person that I put my hand over is the person that you'd like to vote for, you will scream and cheer and go crazy. So, hey, easy over there, Tiger. Nice try. Hey, easy, easy over there. Come, Scots. Ladies and gentlemen, do you think contestant number Blue Mask is the man? You can scream and cheer.